This ladle is being positioned to funnel molten steel into three separate ingot molds. Once workers pull back the door at the bottom of the ladle, the molten steel can flow freely. This process takes place at Elwood Quality Steels, just one of 10 divisions under the Elwood name. Founded in 1910 in Elwood City, Pennsylvania, the company has expanded to 29 facilities across five states, Mexico and Canada, and employs 2,000. We are vertically integrated and we operate almost as a system of companies to essentially meet the needs of our customers. Anna Berensfeld is Vice President of Strategic Initiatives at Elwood. She says all of the divisions work with each other, but each one also sells on the open market. Sometimes our uh, divisions even are competing with each other uh, for customers or suppliers. Um, but all of that helps us uh, be the best business that we can be. The company has recently invested upwards of $200 million into new operations. In 2014, Elwood Crankshaft Group broke ground on an $80 million project to renovate and re-equip the former Westinghouse plant in Sharon, Pennsylvania. Earlier this year, construction began on Elwood Quality Steel's $60 million remelting plant in Newcastle, and this past September, Elwood Engineered Castings in Hubbard announced its plans to construct a $60 million aluminum castings plant at the site and open a new division, Elwood Aluminum. Today, our distribution group, Elwood Specialty Steel, um, they service uh, the automobile industry with um, aluminum that they source, they cut to, to order and distribute to the automobile industry. Um, we'll be able to bring that production in-house and supply uh, Elwood Specialty Steel with our own aluminum. Berensfeld says because Elwood has a wide range of capabilities, they're able to expand their reach and remain competitive in different markets, such as oil and gas, aerospace, automotive and military. So anywhere you see a, a large steel piece, it could be produced here. William Edwards is the chief technical officer at Elwood and says keeping up with cutting edge technology helps the company maintain an advantage over the competition throughout different markets. Steel is seen as an old industry, but it's a very, it's a highly technical um, industry where you've got to be able to control, you know, your uh, melting process and uh, forging and heat treatment processes to get the properties out of the products that you're providing to your customers. Customers within the oil and gas industry make up between 25 and 30 percent of Elwood's business, according to their chief financial officer, Richard Davis. He says onshore oil and gas exploration has rebounded in some areas since oil prices crashed during the later half of 2014. Since the oil collapse um, from a few years ago, we haven't fully recovered to where we were prior to that. Um, but over the last two to three years, we have incrementally increased our sales um, about 10 to 20 percent per year. With 10 divisions each having their own three-letter acronym under the Elwood Group, the company decided to market itself in a simpler way. We're all Elwood. We're all part of the same organization. We share that Elwood City DNA, and our customers really call us Elwood. So we decided let's, you know, let, let's run with that. We just continue to reinvest in our company. We're, we're very proud of the company that we have. We're proud of the good, high-quality products that we make. We have wonderful employees. Our customers need are great products and we're just going to continue doing what we do all well and, and growing and reinvesting and um, it's something I'm proud of.